Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Fighter Subscriber, where a subscriber has sent me a craft and I throw it into battle against a selection of my own fighters, which you can see here. Uh, after the last episode, the competition is hotting up, so let's waste no time in meeting today's contender, lovingly selected for us by Google's random number generator. This is the FAA-17 by Omar Mahmoud, and it certainly looks like it could do a number on my craft. It's a standard twin-engine craft with two of those Saturn afterburning engines from the BD Armoury mod for that uh, little bit of extra power. It's in the four-plane and tailplane configuration, and, uh, well, as I said, it looks the part, but uh, it's got a tough act to follow after the uh, F-15 from last week. Let's take it up for a test flight and see just how promising the signs are. Well, the early signs are very, very promising. It's very manoeuvrable, it handles my usual figure of eights with ease, um, and those two Saturn engines make sure that it's not slowed to a crawl by that manoeuvrability. Um, yeah, I really like this craft. It's a dream to fly. It's not particularly squirrely. Uh, its centre of lift is actually quite far behind its centre of mass, but it uh, can maintain a high angle of attack. It has the, uh, the wing area to make it count, and as I said, those engines make sure it's not slowed down too much by that. Anyway, that's all well and good, but uh, we need to go and see how this performs in an actual fight. Here we go then. First up, as always, the FAA-17s will be going up against my Cyclones. Let's get them into the air. So our craft approach the 8km mark. There we go. And we get our first look at these craft in combat. They turn around quite quickly and get missiles away as we uh, probably were expecting they would. And now everybody starts breaking low to dodge the uh, the enemy's missiles. Hmm. Now these craft should have the edge in maneuverability over the cyclones, so I'm I'm hoping for some gun kills. There's been a lot of missile kills recently. Um, I just think with BD Armory the missiles. Um, They've gotten sort of stronger as the versions have gone by, but really do want to see some gun kills today. Uh, and I think these craft have the maneuverability to pull it off. Uh, certainly have the maneuverability, certainly have the speed to dodge missiles. No early missile kills, it looks like. All these craft flying okay. Where have they gone? Already closing the distance. Jebediah a little far out of it, but uh, not too far away at the moment. Missiles still going back and forth. We have guns. Where are those? That sounded like an explosion. That looks like some debris. That's one of the FAA-17s. Daffy Kerman's craft missing an engine, missing some wing surface, uh, missing some control surfaces. I should probably just about be able to fly it. Uh, that looked like debris for a second, but it isn't. Loosing missiles will not be much good. When the, uh, when the fight gets up close and personal, but should, if, if she can get a lucky missile kill, can certainly be of some use to, uh, to her wingmen. Doesn't look to be any damage on the opposing team as yet. Ooh, speak too soon. I think that this might have been scorched by the missile that uh, Daffy Kerman just launched. So, yeah, some severe manoeuvrability problems for this craft now. Two craft damaged, or well, sorry, one craft damaged on each team. Just going to be a case of uh, which team can make that count the most. I think the other craft are all fine. Oh no, Richmond Kerman is not fine. Richmond Kerman has been shredded, has lost both his engines, and is down and out. Might still provide the distraction to the Cyclones for a little while though. Jebediah Kerman in the last remaining healthy FAA-17. Trying to lay guns onto one of the Cyclones doesn't come to anything. Normally the Cyclones, the weakest of my three craft, tend to go out to uh, its early missile kills. That Cyclone, I assume... Ooh, I was about to say, one of the Cyclones, I assume it was the damaged one. Seems like it crashed into the sea. Just as Jebediah gets taken out by a missile. One of the other FAA-17s. Was that Jebediah's craft? I think it must have been. So Daffy Kerman, no, she's gone as well. So the uh, the FAA-17s do manage to get the one kill, but 
I must be honest, I was expecting a little more from them in this fight, but um, still two more fights to turn it round, so uh, let's see how they get on. I was genuinely surprised by that result, um, but uh, now the FAA 17s have a chance to redeem themselves in this fight against my club tails. Let's see if they can pull it off. And so round two starts. Now the club tails are a slightly stronger craft than the uh, than the cyclones. Don't tend to fall to those missile kills as often. A touch more maneuverability. Um, yeah, it'll be whether these uh, these FAA 17s can make the maneuverability they have count because I think these still will have the edge on these club tails. Missiles going back and forth. That one looks to go well wide. Doesn't seem to be any early missile kills there. Those, that's not debris, those are just more missiles. Okay. Everyone's still alive this side. That missile goes in. Mm, goes wide. Another one flying in. That one, yeah, never really stood a chance. One of the FAA 17s already right up close and personal though. Looking to put guns onto one of the uh, one of the club tails. Not right this second though. Now can you, can Richmond Kerman turn about? Lay some guns down. Hopefully in time to uh, to help his wingman. Bit of a joust going on. We've got a bit of a three on one going on. Or is that one of the club tails? I can't tell. Rich Kerman has to pop countermeasures, missile incoming. Hopefully that will just go flying wide and we can uh, we can see Rich Kerman try and close in and get that gun kill. Lots of lots of gun action going on at the moment. Lays guns in, doesn't quite find the mark this time. That's a missile going well wide. Oh, that was close. Clubtail just pulling evasive manoeuvres. Now Richmond Kerman has to pop countermeasures and get out of there. A missile is coming in and he needs to dodge that before, uh, before any other business is attended to. Lots of guns going on. Let's see if we can join some of the other action. Jebediah Kerman has one of the Clubtails on his tail. Trying to pull some evasive manoeuvres. That was close. That was a little too close. Jebediah survives for now. This craft can pull some quite impressive manoeuvres, but doesn't seem to be doing so at the moment. More gunfire comes in. Getting very close. That is one of the club tails against one of the FAA-17s. Still just missile. No signs of debris yet. All craft in the air and undamaged as far as I can tell. Slight pause of the game there. That looks like that was an explosion. Jebediah takes some damage. That is some debris. That is one of the FAAs damaged. Jebediah loses some wing surface. Again, not looking too good for the FAA 17th. And this is really surprising me. This is a beautiful craft to fly. That club tail seems to have lost interest in Jebediah. Richmore Kerman coming in. Looked like he was trying to put guns onto one of the club tails. Not happening for the moment though. Daffy Kerman's craft. For the second fight in a row, Daffy Kerman's craft gets it gets injured quite early on. Trying to uh, trying to avoid the gunfire of that cocktail will have a slightly more difficult job doing so at the moment. Still should have plenty of maneuverability left in the tank though. Comes full circle. Where is that cocktail? Still coming in, still laying down gunfire. An explosion loses an engine. How much longer can Daffy Kerman hold on? Just the one engine. Lost some wing surfaces. Sounds like something else was exploding there. Loses the other engine. One of the other FAA 17s crashes into the ground. Daffy Kerman continues to get shredded. Again, it's not looking good for the FAA 17s, and that really does surprise me. Dappy Kerman crashes into the ground. Jebediah Kerman. His craft damaged. Can he get something? Oh, that looks very close, but doesn't hit. 
can Jebediah get something out of this fight for the uh, FAA 17s? It's three on one and it does not look promising. Are the other club tails all in rude health? Not a mark on any of them. And it looks like Jebediah Kerman. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. It's uh, it's not looking good for you. Popping countermeasures. Missile incoming. But we'll shortly have three sets of guns trained on him. Tries to pull out of that dive. Should be able to do so without much difficulty. Another missile goes flying past. More gunfire. Tries to pull some evasive manoeuvres. Gets scorched. Loses an engine. Lost an air intake and an engine, but one air and one air intake, one engine. That's um, that's an equation that balances. So we'll have lost some speed, but hopefully not much else. Still holding on, still clinging on. More gunfire comes very close. Two sets of gunfire now. One of them from a bit of a distance, so it shouldn't be too much trouble to avoid. But I think Jebediah is living on borrowed time. One of the club tells coming in to close the distance. Jebediah loses his last engine. And it is all over for the FAA-17s in this fight. What the hell is going on? Jebediah continues to get shredded. Can probably control his vehicle pretty well with the uh, canards and the um, that wing surface, but not much else he can do. He's lost his guns. <laughs> Just try to avoid being shredded further on the way down. Two results that I am very surprised by. Let's see, uh... Let's see if the final fight proves any more fruitful for these craft. So, two unexpected defeats so far for the FAA-17s, but... Can they turn it around in this final fight against my Panthers? Let's find out. So the final round begins, and I'm really not sure what to make of these craft so far. I mean, I really was expecting them to do very well. If anyone in the comments has any insights, then uh, please let me know, but I... <sighs> I did not expect things to play out as they have done so far, let's put it that way. Missiles going back and forth, Jebediah Kerman, sorry, Richmond Kerman. And his wingmen will be doing likewise, as I expect are the Panthers. And an early missile kill would do wonders here for the FAA's chances, but um, no such luck. That looks like a bit of an explosion there. Is that one of the FAA-17s already damaged? Is that Jebediah Kerman's craft? Looks like it might have got a bit scorched. Missing a control surface. Not much else should still be able to fly reasonably well. Let's loose a missile at close range. Oh, that looks like might have scorched that panther. Breaks off for some reason. Are you popping chaff? Are you having to avoid missiles? Um, not what I can see. Reacquires the target. Another missile comes in for that panther. Nothing doing this time around. Jebediah Kerman's craft slightly damaged but should still be okay. No visible debris anywhere else. He's having to avoid guns on his tail, though. Missiles coming in. How are the other FAA-17s doing? Richmond Kerman trying to come to the rescue of his wingman. Let's loose a missile. Let's loose with the guns. Neither do any good, I'm afraid. That looks closer. Still no cigar comes about. Should be able to stick to this panther's tail though. That is a very good opportunity there. Can't quite take it. Panther flips out a bit. Oh, that was a golden opportunity. The gunfire just chases that panther down into a dive. Oh, that looks good. One of the panthers is gone. One of the panthers is gone. Looks like it crashed into the sea. I'm not sure if that was a bit of debris over there. That looks like that was some damage. That looks very close. Oh my word, how did that not hit? 
has to break off because of a missile, and that is another Panthagon. I am com with completely the wrong fight here. Where is that other Panther? That's one of the... Where did it go? That Panther is trying to put up a fight, though. Does lay some missiles into one of the other FAA-17s. I have no idea what happened to that other Panther. Two missiles incoming. Looks like one of them hit. It looks like that Panther is taking a lot of damage. Um, or not. Oh, that's very close. That is very close indeed. The attention of three craft. Hang on, that's... that's... So those are the three craft. I don't know what happened to that second Panther. I really do not. Surely Kerman really does have a fight on his hands now, though. More gunfire incoming. Another missile comes in. Well wide, though. Richard Mulkerman switches to the Sidewinders himself. That's, um, that's optimistic. Pops a lot of chat. That's popped the last of his flares, sorry. If these, if these FAA-17s have one more missile, that could be enough. Just guns for the time being, though. Raining in from three directions. Do any of you have a missile remaining? Jebediah Kerman. It's like the scene from Independence Day. There's one missile left. <sighs> Launch that. Here it comes. Oh! And it might not be needed. Shawnee Kerman. Finally! Finally, the FAA-17s managed to get some decent damage onto that Panther. Has lost his entire right engine nacelle, the tail fin with it, flips out. And you've got to imagine, he is now going to be easy pickings for these FAA-17s. Tries to pull it back. Seems to be spinning into the ground at the moment. Selects a Sidewinder. Maybe gets off one last missile. But to no avail, the fight ends. And the FAA-17s have finally recorded a richly deserved victory. Although it's probably not enough. Let's go look at the final scores. So the FAA-17s finally get that last Panther down and finally win a fight. And I think in that last round we, uh, we did see hints of where this craft might be falling short. It did seem to have quite a bit of difficulty bringing its guns to bear on its target. There might be something to do with the gun placement or similar. Um, but, uh, I mean, there's a lot that this craft does right. There's a lot that this craft does very, very well. But I think that might be its Achilles heel. But uh, anyway, down to business. So with four kills and three survivors over the three fights, that puts the FAA-17 onto seven points. I don't think it lived up to its potential today, but uh, unfortunately, that's the way it goes sometimes. Thank you very much to Omar for this craft. I really like this one. I really wanted it to do well. And who knows, maybe we'll see an updated version on a later season of Fighter Subscriber. I certainly hope so. Uh, if you want me to fight any of your craft, it's definitely too late to get it into this season of Fighter Subscriber now. But feel free to send it to me anyway. Who knows what the future will hold. Details in the description. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, link down below. Uh, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber. But for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.